Well, it is Tasty Thursday. Uh, we love this day. A sandwich shop that started as a pandemic pop up uh, because the owners lost their restaurant jobs just opened a brick and mortar store in San Francisco. Sandy's is now open on Haight Street by Ashbury. The grand opening was exactly one week ago. The shop specializes in muffalettas. And joining us now is co founder Peterson Harder. Uh, Peterson, wow. thanks so much for coming on. Congratulations. What do we have today? It looks fantastic. So it's gonna be a mofalata. Uh, this won't be your classic one that you find from Central Grocery in New Orleans. It's gonna be an interpretation of kind of like what mofalata I wanted growing up. So the difference that you're gonna see is there's like spicy cherry peppers in there. We use a cult classic mayonnaise called Duke's mayonnaise in there. So it's gonna have a little bit of heat, a little bit of that fat from the mayonnaise. Uh, premium Italian ported meat. So prosciutto, mortadella, provolone, um, and then salami as well. What wow. what makes it a muffaletta? Forgive an ignorant question, mm. but what exactly turns no, into a No, I think a that's muffaletta? a great question. Yeah, so traditionally, it's actually the loaf of bread is where the name comes from. It's a Sicilian, Sicilian loaf of bread, oh. and then a place called Central Grocery almost 120 years ago started making it as a sandwich, hmm. and so this is just an interpretation of that sandwich. Real wow. quickly, did you have New Orleans roots or something? I'm originally from New Orleans. Oh, mm. good question. Good. Wow. Question. By yeah. the way, the <laughs> olives in here are amazing. Amazing. And it's, yeah. it's funny because most people don't like the, don't like olives. It's in the sandwich, but it's not the biggest component of the olive salad. So we pickle our own carrots, cauliflower, and onions, and then the olives are in there. There's a bunch of garlic, some seasonings, and it just that olive salad really makes that sandwich. Yeah, it sort of augments it. Well, give us a little sense of your journey from a pandemic pop up to now a permanent store, which is a great story. I mean, I think one of the crazy things is we started selling sandwiches literally up the street from where we have our brick and mortar now out of our window during the pandemic. Wow. And so, yeah, and we got really lucky and to see the journey from our house down the street has been incredible. Um, started selling sandwiches out of the window. The second week we did it, Eater SF reached out. They did an article on us, asked where we were popping up. We said out of our house and they said, we can't write that article. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we hustled, we hustled, we right. found a spot to pop up. We had a lot of really great friends that opened the doors for their wine bars. Um, and we got in, we started going and we haven't stopped since then. That's fantastic. Can I ask, what, what is your, what? your standard muffaletta cost? Cause this thing, it looks like it has a hundred ingredients in here. It does. Yeah. <laughs> you asked what the cost was? Mm. So this is going to be $14. This is going to be an eighth. A lot of people look at it and it looks like it's small and then they put it in their no. hand, their hand drops oh, and they massive. say, okay, that makes sense. It's a, I mean, it's uh, a full meal. I mean, this yeah, is a yeah. lot of food. I, I, I can do bicep curls with this thing. It's that, that's, I mean, it, it, there's a lot in here. There's, there's a lot of sandwich to it. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll sell it as a whole sandwich as well. We can cut it into eight portions so that you can actually, a lot of people will take it to the park if they're going to have a picnic that's or just for smart. birthdays, whatever. Yeah, this yeah. is a lot. I mean, this you could split this easily with someone and be full. Uh, why bring this style of food to San Francisco? What what made you think this would work? I mean, I didn't. The pandemic. I mean, it was just we actually had another pop up that we ran, and we happened to have a bunch of extra pickles, so cauliflower and carrot jardiniere. And being from New Orleans, I looked at that and I said, well, we can repurpose that and make muffalata salad. And we were already baking bread, so we ended up just baking the bread and making muffaladas and. I think after the first week we did it, the reception, people really loved it. And I just knew from there, I was like, this is, I, this is what I'm doing. Awesome. It's good stuff. It is good, good stuff. stuff. Uh, yeah. Patterson, Harder, thanks so much. The shop is Sandy's on Hate Street uh, by Ashbury. Congratulations and good luck. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, Very good. That's this edition of the Ford Four. We'll be right back.